Hi everyone and welcome back for a short educational video on the defensive behaviour of an eastern brown snake, which is the snake in Australia that a lot of people believe they're being chased by. Now as I replay this footage for you, you can see the snake is clearly advancing towards me and it even looks like it takes a lunge at me. But what I'll do now is I'll slow this footage down so you can see every movement the snake makes and you'll be able to see clearly that the snake's intent is just to put me on the back foot until it can reach safety. And what we need to understand is that when a snake looks up and sees a large human above it, they perceive us as a predator and a threat to their life. So the number one priority for this animal is to get to its last known safe point, and that's on the other side of me. So what it's going to do, it's going to advance towards me to get me to retreat. So as soon as it can put some distance between us, it can go for safety. And you can see here, this is exactly when the snake has an opportunity to bite me, but it doesn't choose to do so. What it does is as I pull my foot back, it gets a bit scared, it flinches to the side and heads for its last known safe point, which is in the soil cracks on the side of the road. Now, if I can get the general public to take away one piece of information from this video, it's that snakes are not aggressive and they're not trying to chase you with intent to bite you. When you see this defensive behavior and you mistake it for a snake chasing you, all it's actually doing is trying to get you on the back foot uh, so that it can get to the nearest safety because it has absolutely no reason to take on a human. The only thing a snake is going to chase with intent to bite and envenomate is their prey items and humans just aren't on that list. And this would explain why there's so many dry bites and dry bite is when the snake actually bites and doesn't inject any venom. And there's a rough statistic out there about eastern browns that they envenomate people only 50% of the time they bite, which means that they're giving you every opportunity to get away and leave them alone and their intent isn't to bite and envenomate you like a lot of people would uh, have you believe. Alright, that's all we have time for this evening but I hope you've really enjoyed this piece on the eastern brown snake uh, and learned something new and hopefully we can dispel some of those chasing myths out there and people can start to understand that snakes are just defensive not aggressive okay if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and don't miss my documentary on australia's deadly snakes and their behavior if you'd like to purchase prints or check out more of my work visit my online shop at the link shown here or find it in the description below thanks for watching and take care everyone